As we've been following stories of the personal tragedies, especially following October 7th. Um, now, one young man, Ofer Tsarfati, was at the Nova Music Festival on October 7th with his girlfriend, Shoval Gal, and some friends celebrating his 27th birthday. Now, when the event was attacked by Hamas terrorists, Ofer uh, reportedly responded with cool courage, helping some of them escape the massacre. But at some cost for himself, as he uh, appears to have been caught by terrorists and is believed to have been taken hostage into Gaza. Well, joining us now is Shoval Gal, that is, or for his girlfriend and uh, another uh, friend, Hodaya Abu. Uh, they join us from the town of Kiryat Atta. And Shoval or, or Hodaya, talk about that, that, what I just described more in detail, what happened there at the Nova Music Festival, and especially how Ophir responded to what was happening. All right, so uh, Shoval and Ophir and all of our friends uh, were in the party at Reim. Uh, Ophir was celebrating his 27th birthday. He wanted to celebrate it at the Nova festival uh, with all his friends and he with his girlfriend, Shoval. Uh, around 6.30 a.m. Saturday morning, they started to notice the bombs and the rockets above them, uh, followed up with gunshots. Uh, they got into their cars and drove to the main road until they had no choice but uh, running into the fields. For something like four hours, Ophir and Choval was hiding under a tree uh, until noticing two rescue cars uh, approaching. Uh, Shoval and their friend uh, got into the first car and Ophir uh, gave up on his seat and got on into the second car. Uh, eventually, Ophir's car uh, was attacked by a squad of uh, Hamas terrorists and the driver and the girl next to him was murdered immediately. And Ophir and the girl, uh, Romy Gonen, who was sitting next to him at the back seat, they were injured. Uh, what we that Ophir uh, was killed. Uh, the, talk to us a little about the kind of person, I mean, we see this, this moment demonstrating courage. What kind of person Ophir was? Ophir is still the best person we know. He's always keeping his smile on. He's ha he has a huge heart, a really kind person. And you can tell by this story that he just gave up his seat for another people, so he's a really kind man, and we all miss him. And you can you can tell by this story and by this time. And uh, in this uh, whole 30 days, we were every day at the family's house, and we're just waiting for him, and we're doing everything we can to bring him back home. And we know he will do the same for us. Right. Talk, talk about, because anyone who looks at the social media, your social media, and also even affairs with Active, what you are doing to keep his awareness, awareness of him and his plight, not only just in Israel, but also abroad, using also uh, posting stuff in, in English as well. Yes, uh, we have an Instagram page uh, called Bring a Feel Home. Uh, we are uploading every day videos about him talking in English, uh, in Hebrew, and translated. Um, we have, we get a lot of love from all over the world. We get a lot of support, and we really appreciate it. This is our mission now to keep the awareness of Ophir and all of the hostages, and we want them all back home now we can't we can't stand for another day and not for another 30 days right finally when to ask what you as you know we're an international platform as well what's your message now to the world 
here. We're at the, uh, we're nearing now a, a month, just a, really just a, a full month in which uh, not just Ophir, but of course all those people taken hostage into Gaza, uh, in most of cases, not even a sign, a proof of life. What's your message to the international community perhaps on this uh, day? So our message is, first of all, we need your support. We need the world support in these moments. We need the world to. All right, we're having some for the hostages. This is really important for us. We need not only a, a life sign. We need them back home now. Imagine your kids. Imagine your your boyfriend or your girlfriend, right? In this situation, we can't we can't stand another 30 days. We can't stand. We 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 need to bring them back home, and this is the world's mission, not only Israel's mission. And we also support Israel, and we support uh, Israel Defense Forces and what we're doing right now inside the uh, Gaza Strip. And we know they will bring them back home, but we need the world support. Right. All right. Well, certainly, uh, most of all, of course, I wish the uh, safe return of Ofer Tsarfati and all of the hostages uh, there in Gaza, Shoval Gal and Hodaya Abu. Thank you so much for joining us and telling your stories on I-24 News. Thank you.